We saw three men dressed in all black military um, military attire with vests on. They're holding assault rifles. While an FBI spokeswoman says they've confirmed only two guns were used, she says in the absence of video, they can't rule out if there could have been another attacker. Much uh, two and a half months after the San, Bernardino, San Bernardino massacre in California and the shootout which killed the husband and wife terrorists, there's now been a surge of sudden activity. The FBI has raided the home of a relative, hauling off piles and piles of possible evidence. Brian Todd has been looking into the, this development for us. What are you learning, Brian? Well, tonight we have learned that there are still some very important clues the FBI is looking for about the two shooters. Where is their hard drive? What were they doing in a stretch of 18 minutes after the shootings that the FBI still can't account for? And what is on shooter Syed Farouk's iPhone? The search for that evidence prompted federal agents to make another run at Farouk's brother. A surprising search. Federal agents combed through this home in Corona, California, associated with the brother of San Bernardino shooter Syed Farouk. Agents seen searching the trunks of two vehicles, one of which, according to CNN affiliate KABC, is registered to Farouk's mother. Neighbors say the house has been searched several times since the December terror attack. We've had numerous swarms of FBI agents and Homeland Security and police. Tonight, the FBI won't say what investigators were hoping to find, but experts say to get another search warrant, investigators would have to show a judge they have good reason to return. This would be new evidence that they have just recently learned about. What could that be? That could be documentary evidence, that could be written communications. There were no arrests made and no one has been charged. The FBI would not say if the brother, Raheel Farouk, is a suspect in the shootings or any other crime. Tonight, the family's lawyers could not be reached for comment. But the search is one of several signs that the FBI is still investigating whether there were others involved in the shooting that left 14 people dead, or if there were any other targets. The FBI has made clear it is still looking for the shooter's hard drive. And tonight, they say they still can't entirely rule out that there was a third shooter at the site, something at least one witness told CBS she saw on the day of the attacks. We saw three men dressed in all black military um, military attire with vests on. They're holding assault rifles. While an FBI spokeswoman says they've confirmed only two guns were used, she says in the absence of video, they can't rule out if there could have been another attacker. The FBI is not going to let that alone. They're not going to say, hey, we got two, we're, we're comfortable that all there is is two, because what if that third shooter is now brewing the next terrorism plot? Meanwhile, the FBI is still trying to pin down where the two attackers went for a stretch of 18 minutes after the shooting, a mystery the FBI believes might be solved if Apple would agree to help investigators unlock Syed Farouk's iPhone. But, Wolf, it's not clear tonight if that's going to happen. Apple is, of course, fighting a judge's order for the company to help unlock the iPhone. And tonight, the Justice Department is doubling down in its fight with Apple over Syed Farouk's iPhone, filing a request to compel Apple to go along with the judge's order for Apple to help the FBI break into that iPhone. The move is intended to show that the feds do not want to wait for Apple to litigate this whole thing and to show that the San Bernardino case is still very much an active investigation. Wolf? It certainly is. Uh, Brian, uh, you've also gotten some new details from the FBI tonight on that stretch of, what, about 18 minutes uh, in the two shooters' movements that the Bureau supposedly can't account for, right? That's right, Wolf. An FBI official told me uh, the Bureau has gotten some leads from the public about those missing 18 minutes, but no firm evidence of where the couple went, who they might have interacted with, whether they stopped anywhere, possibly maybe even a storage facility. The FBI official says it was a very small area of San Bernardino that Syed Farouk and Tashfin Malik drove around in for quite a while following the shootings, and they are still hoping that someone saw something in that stretch of about 18 minutes. Yeah, lots of questions still out there, uh, including if there's any other, uh, any other people who were involved. All right, Brian, thank you very much. Coming up. Hi, everybody. My name's Mike. This is my YouTube page, Mox News. Thanks for tuning in. <clears throat> okay, so I just want to say real quick that... Uh, Congratulations to you conspiracy guys. You're doing a kick-ass job because um, if it wasn't for you, there's no way the FBI would be talking about a third person, a third shooter at this San Bernardino um, <clears throat> event because, you know, we all know there was 
police training drills going on that day. If you look back on my videos, it says, the, 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 this is in no way connected to the SWAT training drills that are currently going on. Okay, so, um, but uh, <clears throat> if it was left up to the mainstream media, you know they wouldn't be looking for a third person. They wouldn't be talking about a possible third shooter, uh, even though it was in, it, again, that's in my videos on the San Bernardino thing too. Oh, a third, third person ran away from the vehicle. This is, this is uh, clearly, again, another cover-up of some government live bullshit going on. But, uh, but I just want to say congratulations to conspiracy guys because it's clear that it's not the mainstream media that's holding these, uh, you know, the FBI accountable. Hey, there's a third person reported over and over again. I mean, if, they, if, the, if the mainstream media was trying at all, they would have the person that made the report of a third, you know, all the people that made reports of a third person because it was said over and over again. So, you know, congratulations to the conspiracy guys and keep up the good work, you know, Resistance is victory. Don't forget.